Hi guys, welcome back to another video of mine. So today in this video, it's going to be a special kind of video. I'm going to just show you how to install disc breakers that is in uh, two-stroke bike. This video is especially for all the two-stroke lovers. You can easily install disc brake in any two-stroke bike, especially RX100, RX135 or Suzuki Samurai, Shogun or any other bike like Splendor which is not having a disc brake. You can easily install disc brake in them. So I'll just show you the whole process and what in the what and all parts you require. Main thing is guys, first you'll require the fork set of any bike. Since I'm modding it for my Suzuki Samurai that is uh, making it off-roading bike, I prefer to use a spokes wheel in this. So what I've done is I've bought the whole uh, fork set of Pulsar old model that is Pulsar UG1 or you can even call it as Pulsar Classic which has a spokes wheel along with the disc brake in it. So guys, you'll require the whole set of it that is the spokes wheel along with the disc, disc caliber the brake hose, master cylinder, along with uh, both the forks and the T-stem along with the T-plates. So I bought the whole set, I'll just show you how I'm going to install that in my Suzuki Samurai. The process is same for any bike guys, whether it's Splendor, Suzuki Samurai, RX or Shogun. So right now let's just begin with our video. I hope you like this video, but don't forget to subscribe guys. Our target is to reach 10k subscribers soon and 1 million by the end of this year. So do subscribe and hit a like. To install disc brake in RX or Samurai or any two-stroke bike or any other bike which is not having disc brake, you'll have to purchase the whole kit, that is this kit uh, as you can see here. This is the front uh, disc brake along with the rim, both the shock observers, T-stem, T-holder and along with the handle. This is the set of Pulsar old model, that is UG1 or Pulsar Classic. You'll have to buy this whole set and now I'll just show you how to install this in your bike. It's very simple process. Let's begin. I'll even uh, show you what are the parts present in this. As you can see here, there is the tire of Pulsar along with the spokes and its hub. It's having a disc brake that is here this side. That is the disc pad. Okay, and these are the two shock observers. Mudguard you can use any. We'll see later regarding that. And there is the bottom T plate along with the T stem. And this is the top T plate along with its uh, handlebar holder and this is the handlebar. So require uh, full this set totally. And uh, you'll even have the brake caliber along with its pipe. I'll just show you. This whole set. This one. As you can see, this is the brake caliber along with its brake hose. There is a brake pipe. And this is the master cylinder. One second. Yeah master cylinder right now i'll just show you how to dismantle my samurai and install this uh, pulsers fork in my samurai let's just begin so first guys to dismantle the front suspension and everything present in the bike okay you'll just have to remove this wheel with the help of this axle then loosen up uh, these two bolts one is here other one is present here after that remove this bolt and the bolt which is present here then the shockers will come out after that comes out, you have this headlight will come out since it's placed only with these two brackets. Then remove two screws which are present inside over here. Then the speedometer will come out. Then remove these four nuts and take the handlebar out along with its uh, brake levers, throttle, clutch lever and the switch box. After doing that, we'll have to remove this nut. This is the T-stem nut. We will even remove this, then the stop plate will come out. After that is out, then you will have a chuck nut, check nut present inside. I will show you. This, this is the chuck nut. You will have to remove that. Then this T stem will come out totally. There is this T. Then we will just install pulsar T in this. Right now let's just begin the process. I will show you the whole process one by one.
Now we'll just uh, remove this wheel and axle out of the shock observer, dismantle it with this T-set and also remove this handle by removing these four uh, bolts present here, these four, the handle will come out, then this whole uh, set will be dismantled into separate pieces and then I'll just install this in the bike over there. As you can see guys, I have uh, dismantled the whole uh, front T-stem along the shock absorbers and wheel of pulsar. Right now everything is open. I'll just start assembling. I'll even have to check whether both the T-stems are same or not. If not, we'll have to do some modification. I'll let you know. I'll just show you the overall view right now of all the parts. So let's just continue now. Hi guys, welcome back to my other video. This is gonna be part 2 in the process of installing uh, disc brakes in my Suzuki Samurai. You have already seen the part 1, this is part 2. In this video, I will show you like how, how I have assembled pulses T-stem along with the suspension in my Suzuki Samurai. So let's just continue to our video. This is actually the part 1's part 2 of installing disc brake. Uh, but in the process of making my Suzuki Samurai into a dirt bike, it's just the part 2 two video there are several other videos like i'm going to install dirt bikes mudguard a rear fender and mono suspension so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel let's continue with our video now You can see here this part, the welding is done over here for this part, that is to make it a bit fat. Now the whole part will get the threading done on it. As you can see guys, if you have to install pulsers, uh, folks in Samurai or RX or KB100 or any other RX 135 such kind of bike, first what you'll do is disassemble, then there's the T-stem of pulsar, 
you can't directly install this in uh, those bikes so what you have to do is this threading guys as you can see before it was only till here now from here to here it was the before now we have extended the same threading from here to here that is totally from this end till here you will have to do this so after this you can easily install this in the bike this is the only modification you will have to do to install uh, pulsars t stem and forks in uh, samurai or rx so remember to extend the threading from here till here okay i'll just show you the nut see here like this so the same threading from here till here it's extended a uh, late shop guy will charge you around uh, 300 to 350 i paid 300 now let's just continue with our video i'll just start assembling all these parts back in the bike As you can see guys, this bottom one, this is the T-plate along with the T-stem, it has pulsers here. As I put threading till here, that is at the top, you can see till here the threading comes. And this check nut, you can use any nut. See right now, it should be this free. Then you will not have any problem with your handle, else the handle will be tight. Okay, now I will just start installing the fork. As you can see guys, this is how the bike looks, that is after installing the Pulsar 150 UJ1 model forks or classic forks, I will show it to you. See here, this is the disc plate along with its uh, rim and these are the forks, you can see how fat it is compared to the forks which are present in Samurai. And I have even installed the same Pulsar's handlebar. As you have seen guys, I have showed you like how to install disc brakes in my Suzuki Samurai. You can do it in any bikes. So stay tuned for my other videos. In the next video, I am going to install mono suspension in my Suzuki Samurai. So do like and subscribe to my channel. Comment below like if you have any doubt. And next week, we will have one more video. And there is other playlist in my channel for my modified cafe racer. Cafe racer. Do check out that also. Hey, <laughs> hey,
ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಹೇಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಹಿಟ್ಟ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸ್